Augmented's FPE feature, or fixture position estimation, automatically determines the location of your automated fixtures. Start by recording a few focus palettes and let Augmented calculate the positions for you. In order to get Fixture Position Estimator up and running, we want to set up a few things first. And the first thing is in my model space. I'm gonna come into edit. Every time you get a show file started, you are given four FPE points and they will always show up in your model. We wanna put those at known locations uh, in our model and in our space. Basically, I wanna make sure that wherever they are on my stage, they are actually in the exact same place in my model because we're gonna do all of our calculations off of those points. So I've already set some of these up. You can see a few of these red dots here. And these are points on my stage that I'm going to focus my lights at. So you can see three of them. I have another one that's kind of below my drum riser. And uh, I've added a fifth one for a bit more accuracy, uh, which is on my turntable. So we'll look at those in the real space. And I'm just gonna hit done here. And it's probably a little hard for you to see, but in my real space, I have set out spike tape uh, in those exact positions. So I measured it out, uh, taped it down. And the next thing that we wanna do is point all of the lights that we want to use the fixture position estimation tool for uh, at all of those points and record some focus palettes. So I've done that in advance. I'm just gonna walk you through them really quickly. So the four channels that I've hung in reality here are channels 102 and 104 and 111 and 112. I'm just gonna put those at full. And for best results, what you wanna do is if the fixtures have uh, an iris or a way to tighten down the beam, we wanna just roll that down so we can really be sure that we're centering the beam on those points on stage. And I'm also going to adjust my edge so that they're nice and sharp. Again, I want to be able to make this as precise as possible because we're using math and precision with math is always good. If you have the luxury of having an empty gobo slot, we have found in our testing that if you use something like a crosshair gobo, something that has a, a really definitive center, that that is useful for setting these things up because you can really target in the center of the beam on the focus point. So my four points in the room are focus palette 901. So all of my fixtures are pointed there. Focus palette 902, which is upstage of this crate, and my designer helped me focus this before. Focus palette 903, which again was under the drummer riser. It is important to note that if you're laying out these things, precision is really the key. So I may need to move the scenery in order to make those focus palettes, but once focus palette is stored, I can really easily put my scenery back um, and it doesn't have to hit it in order to do the calculations. Uh, next, I have focus palette 904, and that's there. And then finally, I added focus palette 905. Again, four is minimal. Five will get you a bit more accurate. You can have up to eight focus points in your FPE focus palettes. There are a lot of best practices that can help you make sure that this is successful when you're laying out your FPE points. So check out the documentation for all your best practices. And just a quick note, you'll notice that my fixtures in my model right now are really inaccurate. Uh, so the fixtures that are in the model are at the trim that was in my last venue last night, and my trim in this venue is much lower. So these fixtures in the rig are being pointed to these focus positions, and this is what FPE is going to help me correct. All right, to tie this all together, we want to go to patch. So once my palettes are all set, I will go into patch. I'm gonna grab those channels again. And in my augmented area, I have an FPE header that allows me to access my FPE information. We give you the ability to organize FPE points and focus palettes into FPE sets. And that allows you to create different groupings of FPE points so that if you have fixtures that are in the rig that maybe can't all hit the same four points or you're working in multiple spaces on the same show file, you can add a separate collection and use them to recalculate your position for different fixtures. If I wanna add an FPE set, I can just say add set, and that's going to put that there. FPE sets can be labeled, so if I touch the label field for FPE set two, I can say upstage 
of scenery. And that gives me an indication of what I can use that set for. I don't need that set for today, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that FPE set. And I need to confirm that delete. When we wanna locate our FPE points in our model, we can use the augmented editor and use our tools like move to position those into their proper location. But we can also make changes here in patch. So if I know that my FPE point one is in a specific place, I can double touch on that XYZ and I have tools in here to put in my measurement information. For now, I'm just gonna to touch off of that. Again, by default, we give you four focus points. If you'd like to add additional focus points for accuracy, you can say add FPE point. That will show up at zero, zero, zero in your model, and you'll notice I get a little red dot there. Again, I can reposition it to where I want it to be in my real space. For now, I'm gonna delete my FPE six and confirm delete. Again, by default, when we give you your FPE points, we assign focus palettes to them. And the defaults are focus palettes 901, 902, 903, 904. And as you add additional focus points, we'll continue to add on to that. But these focus palettes can be any number you choose. So if I double hit and type in 1202, that's now referencing that focus palette for the information. For now though, I wanna make sure that that's back at my focus palette 902, because that's where I've recorded them in my show file. When you're using FPE, it's important to remember that all of this information is based on channel selection, and you can get errors if you have channels that aren't a part of your FPE set or your individual focus palettes. So for example, I'm gonna grab 101 through 105, enter, and I'm gonna hit recalculate FPE. It'll ask me to confirm, and what you'll watch on the button is it doing the math for each of the channel numbers. When it's finished, what pops up is a dialog box. As you can see, channels 102 and 104 have green check marks because they have information in the focus palettes. But I get errors for channels 101, 103, and 105, and that's because I didn't store them into the focus palettes that are being used for my calculation. So this is a really great way to make sure that FPE is going to function before you start moving your fixtures around. I'm gonna hit cancel, and I'm gonna grab my proper channel selection. So select last, select last, will bring me back. I'm gonna hit enter, and now I'm ready to recalculate. Recalculate FPE, confirm, and now I have a valid set and all of my channels are valid because they have information stored in my focus palettes. There's a couple of columns that tell you what's going to happen. Your FPE position is the new XYZ position that that channel is going to get moved to when recalculating. Your position change is a useful field because it shows you the difference between where your fixture is currently located in the model and where FPE wants to reposition it to. The same for FPE orientation. This is the current orientation of the fixture and what changes are going to be made to our orientation. And as you can see, there are no orientation changes for this FPE calculation. So if we're ready for FPE to recalculate our fixture positions, I'm gonna say accept FPE changes. And you'll notice in my model that it dropped them to the proper height. So now I'm just gonna go test that this worked with click to focus. I'm gonna go back out into live. I'm gonna grab those channels and put them at full. I'm just gonna put my iris back to full so I can see these beams. And now using click to focus, I can see that they are all accurately going where I want them to go because the console has properly calculated their location in space based on the information I've given them.